we did what integration was of course we did two type ways in which one is we took it as a curve and finding the area beneath the curve and the x axis called integration we also said that if integral of a function is g of x then d by dx of g of x is nothing but f of x this was so highlighted well in just the last example we did if you observe the same point was highlighted then we did the various basic formulae for x raised to n e raised to x log yes and we did 1 by x we also did about a raised to x yes all these basic formulae we did then we set special variable wherein we took it as ax plus b raised to n then we everywhere in every formula the formula is the same the only thing is you have to divide by the differential of ax plus b that is you have to divide it by a then we did by actual substitution wherein we had x some term was taken as t then we took something we found the differential and you got it as dt and we did substitution based on this then we did integration by parts yes that is integral of uv dx is nothing but u into v dx minus integral of du by dx and integral and the integral of this product and in this we did about the rule of lae we did also elate but inverse function and trigonometric are not very relevant for us so whenever there is a tie as to what should we take as u what should we take as v we always should be taking the logarithmic we can do the other way around but it's going to take a very long time the logarithmic function will always be taken as u in case there is a tie between l a and d so it's a combination so logarithmic function if it is around you have to take that as u if it is not arithmetic function has to be taken as u and then comes so it is in this order whichever comes among these that has to be taken as u we did also part special case wherein we did e raised to x fx plus f dash x dx the integral of this is nothing but e raised to x of fx itself then we did so many examples of partial fraction not only over there but also in definite integration we did then we did the various special substitution formula like 1 upon x square minus a square dx 1 upon a square minus x square dx if you remember this is nothing but 1 upon 2a log x minus a upon x plus a this is 1 upon 2a log a plus x upon a minus x then we did 1 upon root x square plus a square and 1 upon root x square minus a square which is nothing but log of <coughs> x plus root x square plus a root x square similarly this is going to be log of x plus root x square minus a square we also did integral of x square plus a square dx which is going to be x by 2 into this plus log a square by 2 a square by 2 into log x plus x square plus a square much the same way we also did similar formula for this only with a minus sign in between then we did various concept of definite integration we said that definite integration gives the area of the curve within a specific domain so it is a bound curve so we are able to tell the exact value in this we did the various rules which we applied often yes most of the examples were based on finding the integration and then substituting the values but remember in definite integration when you are combining definite integration along with actual substitution when you change the variable the domain range also has to be changed it will be often right that way and easier to do it that way then of course we did the properties of definite integration of course various properties which we have used often in and after this we did a number of examples a few miscellaneous problems and also a few questions on slope and how slope and integral if the slope is known how can you find a function which is nothing but integration of the slope which is going to be dy by dx okay so with that we covered this concepts of integration uh, integration and uh, differentiation are a wonderful application tools together and uh, try to keep them together whenever you are practicing concepts of integration 
never forget differentiation of a certain things will automatically will feature but sometimes you may tend to mix up the formulae hence try to keep in touch with them simultaneously so that your mind remains clear so after covering so many topics and so many exam uh, so many examples and so many problems i do hope uh, this particular session has been very effective in conveying uh, whatever was the purpose to it thank you good day to all of you